The Disciples and the Plan by Benjamin Krems Master. A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 279. There comes a time in the life of every nation when the soul of that nation seeks expression. This it does in a cyclic manner as the initiates and disciples of the nation respond to the soul impression. It is their task to bring into manifestation the underlying purpose of the national soul and to place that at the service of the race. Each nation plays its parts, large or small, in a harmonious interchange, which in its culmination takes humanity forward on its evolutionary path. Thus it is today as the world stands poised for change. Little though it may seem to be the case, disciples in every nation are responding to the inner call and making themselves ready for greater service. That greater service awaits them in full measure. Maitreya's voice will echo the aspiration within the hearts and responding they will quickly change the world. Every department of life will feel the touch of Maitreya's hand. When men seek his advice, they will find his hand generous to a fault. Not that his help can aid will find it lacking. More and more people are awakening to the need for change. They sense that the old order has run its course and await only a sign of the right direction to take. When Maitreya reveals himself to the world, he will focus the eyes and minds of men on the essentials, sharing justice and peace, without which no future for man exists. Then will the disciples in the nations show their mettle. Then will they come forward, eyes and hearts aglow with the fiery aspiration. With clear-sighted altruism, they will present their vision to the nations. With Maitreya, they will align themselves on the side of change and show how that may be best accomplished. Gathering around him, they will convey to the people his advice and guidance. Elected to positions of authority and trust, they will carry out the people's will. Thus will it be. Thus will the old order vanish and pass away, overtaken in men's hearts and minds by a truer reflection of God's will for the race. Justice and sharing, right relationships and peace. These are the eternals, the divine attributes without no, which no progress for long is possible. Man stands now on the threshold of that discovery. A new future beckons and awaits his transfigured gaze. Entering into and creating that future, man will reveal to himself and his brothers a divinity long hidden and unacknowledged but essentially intact and eternally true.